Hello, this is for Marie 7 and I am going to play Halo Wars. As always, this is live commentary, and I will be playing against random opponents chosen by the matchmaking system. So I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen next. I might even lose. So, without further ado, let's play Halo Wars. So it has been a little while since I made a Halo Wars video. If you want to see some of my other Halo Wars videos, you can always click that icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Whoops. Click that icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen so you can see some more of my Halo Wars videos. I, I, um, I have been making clever use of the card system on YouTube. It's supposed to be better than annotations, although you know, annotations do have their upsides. But, the great thing is that cards work on both PCs and on mobile devices. So, you should be able to click that icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen to see some of my other videos. I've been uh, doing uh, Dark Souls 2, a Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. Oh my god! Jughead UK resigned. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jughead UK. Oh my god, man. <laughs> well, oh my god. Jughead UK. I'll I'll <laughs> Let's let's just see what <laughs> let's just see what happens before I start passing judgment. But I I have I have a feeling I bet he know what he's going to do. I bet he's going to warthog rush. <laughs> Jughead UK, he's been in, in at least two or three of my other videos. And every time, he's always done the exact same thing. I get... Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Right, I'm not gonna start, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Maybe he's changed his mind about things. Let's see if he's not gonna do another Warthog Rush. Too early to start passing judgment right now. I'll just... Let's just let's just see. Let's just see how it goes. Let's just see how it goes. Warehouse completed. Of course. Local units. Oh, looks like he might be doing a warthog. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. I'm sorry. I should have been. Ready. Is he doing warthog? Let's see. Rolling out. Let's give him a bump. See what happens. Bump. There we go. Warehouse upgraded. Oh, it looks like he's gonna do a warthog rush. Local units. On it. What now? Yeah. Warehouse complete. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Yep, he's warthog rushing. I figured he would do that. Ready. What now? Point me at him. Where to? About time. <clears throat> what now? Shame I let my scout die, but yeah. it shouldn't be that bad. What do you want? Now. I'll do one of these and then I'll I'll go. Uh. I need to make a citadel so what I can now? do. Easy enough. Warehouse upgrade. So I can take over these uh, reactors. Warehouse complete. I'll heal up first. That's 44. That's enough for a base. He has 44 points. 
I'll check this one first, and then I'll check the other one. What now? Nothing over here. Let's go here. Enemy engagement. Where to? About time. Yep, he's building a base. Or not building a base, but... I may have to do, uh... A brute for this one. I don't know if I can do a warehouse. I might have to do a, a summit because uh what do you want? What now? Of course. They already killed my uh, scout. What do you want? But hopefully it won't be that bad. Warehouse upgraded. I'll make a brute and then I uh, I'll make I'll do a I'll do a hunter for backup. Local units. Local units. And I'll do some jackals. What's he got over here? Nothing? Oh, he's taking it over. He's coming. Okay, let's go over here now. Time for inheritance. I might not need a banshee, but I'll need it. <laughs> I'll need it pretty soon. <clears throat> Gonna do beam rifle. It'll be easier to take over those things. And he wasted his uh inheritance research. What now? Enemy engagement. Uh, you got it. Beam rifle research. I think I know what he's gonna try to do. Okay, let's go. He's gonna try to take something over over here pretty soon, I think.
What the heck? Oh my god. <laughs> He was being unresponsive. I gotta stop him. Enemy engagement. Okay, spirit bond. I might not even need this. I kind of already know what he's gonna do. Local units. Turret improved. Okay, I just gotta stop that thing from being built, and I'm in the clear. Point me at him. Warehouse complete. Moving. Is he trying to build something over here? I gotta, I gotta make sure he's not trying to build something over there. What do you want? Then I go over here. Ready. Yeah, you know, he might be trying to make hornets next. What do you want? I might have to stop him. I might have to undo that thing. Okay, with upgraded hunters, this thing is easy. Okay, I'll have to get him. That because I want to take over the uh, I want to take over that thing over there. Yes. Local units. Ready for action. What? units of course local units local units what now local units what do you want point me at what do you want local units Okay, awesome. Get him. Oh, I don't let him get away. Local units. I 
I, yo, I'm gonna have to destroy this and build a summit. It's the only way I can get them. Local units. Yes. What do you want? Awesome. They don't stand a chance against upgraded hunters. Summit complete. Ready. Local units. I'm going to take over this thing. Upgrade my chieftain. He's gonna make uh, aircraft. Local units. Oh, come on, brutes. Spawn in. Local units. Feeding up ready. Vampire loaded up. Research. What? All units. Enemy engagement. Awesome. Let's go over here. <clears throat> Time, it's about time I build another base. Awesome. They can get him. What do you want? Awesome. Local units. Yeah. I'll just keep that over there. Actually, no. Put him over here. Local units. Local 
units. Of course. Yes. About time. Awesome. Huh. Enemy engagement. Yes. Outpost ready. Huh. I'm ready. Point me at him. Yeah. Vampire. Prepare. What do you want? Ask. Enemy engagement. Where to? Local units. Local units. It shall be done. What do you want, Savannah? Base under attack. Local units. Local Does he really think that'll work? Awesome. <clears throat> Awesome. Looks like we're getting him. Okay. Ready. Yes. What do you want now? <clears throat> Looks like we got him. Warehouse upgrade. For now. Enemy engagement ready. Yeah. Local units. Units. We're moving. Ready. 
I'll just heal up, and I'll be right as rain. Awesome. That works. Upgrade debt. I'll put, a, I'll put a warehouse. I was going to put a vehicle thing there, a factory there, but I don't need to. That won't be necessary. Stasis drain research. Do I need another base? Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt. Local units. We need to. We still need to kill that base. What? Local units. Tell you what I'll do. Enemy engagement. Of course. Yeah. Local units. Okay. There. Now we'll spawn in there, guys. Okay, how are you doing? 771 to 596. I think we got him. <laughs> soon. We'll get him soon. Okay, shield generator is complete. Fight than last time, but 
He still didn't really learn his lesson. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh. Jughead UK resigned. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, now that the game's over, well, now that the game is over, I think let's let's talk about this. Even though we've we've already said this how much time before, Jughead UK resigned. Um, he's been in more than his fair share of Furry Marie Seven videos. <laughs> I don't know why, but I seem to get matched up with this guy all the time. Um, uh, well, <laughs> he seems to only know how to do one thing, and that is Warthog Rush. <laughs> The only thing he knows how to make is warthogs. So defeating his strategy is actually really, really easy. And it, 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 this is the way it happens every time. I c <laughs> Jughead UK resigned. <laughs> That's his name. That's his name. Um, see, the way, it, the way it initially was, was that um, when he was picking out his gamer tag, uh, he wanted it to be when he was when he was setting up when he first made his Xbox account. He wanted his gamer tag to be uh, Jughead UK resigned, uh, but it turned out that name was already taken somehow, and so he just settled for just having his gamer tag at Jughead UK, and that's that's how it remains to this day. But originally, his gamer tag was going to be Jughead UK resigned. And, of course, that story is made up, but the y you got to watch this guy's other videos, okay? Um, type in Jughead UK uh, in the, in, at my channel, that little magnifying glass next to the About section, and you'll see what I mean. This guy does nothing but Warthog Rush. He's almost as bad as uh, Linny. You, you guys, uh, some of you guys remember Linny. He was... Uh, <laughs> He, he was also a, a recurring theme, a, a running gag with my Halo Wars videos. He's Linny, Linny 6690, he's been, he's appeared at least <clears throat> three or four times. Three or four times while well, my videos, and he does nothing but Warthog Rush. What I want, I want, what I want to see, I want to see a battle between uh, Jughead UK and Linny 6690. That's what I want to see, because both of them, the only thing they know how to make is warthogs. <laughs> That's the only thing. Now, Jughead UK resigned here. He, he initially was going to warthog rush me. You saw the, all the warthogs, and they were all up, upgraded to Gunner. And then he probably realized that wasn't going to work again. <laughs> so instead of directly attacking my base, he just... Drove his warthogs around in circles, <clears throat> which is better than last time. Better than last time, uh, and the time before that, and the time before that. <laughs> I get matched up with this guy all the time, and he—he, he, I seriously, you need to watch out for this guy, okay? If you ever get matched up with Jughead UK, I guarantee you he will warthog rush. Guaranteed. Now he didn't rush me because he 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 already knows that I figured out his strategy already. He only has one strategy. That's warthog rushing. Warthog rushing. <laughs> oh my god. Jughead UK resigned, man. I need to see a. I need. I, I would. I would pay money to see a one v one of Lenny sixty six ninety versus Jughead UK. That's, <laughs> and they would both warthog rush each other at the same time. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh my god, man. He doesn't know how to make anything other than warthog. So, of course, he wasn't very good at um, keeping up on the, keeping up on these secondary reactors. I mean, he did a good job. He did a better job than most people do at keeping up on the reactors. But since he was so preoccupied with warthogs, he wasn't really able to pull that off. Also, warthogs are very, very weak to hunters. Um, <clears throat> hunters, 
I don't know what I don't know what his problem is. I mean, it's nice that he started to make hornets after he saw the hunters, but then I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Was this? Did he take over this? I also don't know what took him so long to build another base. He could have done that. Um. I could have built a base much earlier, a, well not much, a little bit earlier, a little bit earlier than I did when I built this base here. But I um, I didn't want it to get destroyed immediately and I knew he had a whole bunch of warthogs. So, and of course I started building my first base and it started to get destroyed by the warthogs. So that's why I didn't build it earlier because I, I needed to make sure that I could protect it first. Now, I don't know what's going on here, he, he attacked my base a whole bunch of times. And he only got the health down this much. He attacked it like five times. And... <laughs> I don't know what his problem is, man. If he'd change up his strategy a little bit and make anything <laughs> other than Warthogs once in a while, you know, he might have had a... You know, he, might, he, might, he might have a chance. But... <clears throat> this kid, man, Jughead UK. If you ever get matched up with him, he will Warthog rush you. He will warthog rush you, guaranteed. Same thing goes for Lenny6690, but I actually haven't seen him on in a while. But yeah, same thing goes for them. Those two kids. I haven't seen anyone more dedicated to warthog rushing than those two people. Lenny6690 and Jughead UK resigned. I haven't seen anyone more dedicated to warthogs. He made hornets. You know, in the beginning, he didn't even do that. He didn't even make hornets. To try to combat my, uh, and you don't, you don't, here's the thing. You don't actually combat warthogs with hornets. This is a common misconception among, uh, uh, new players. People who are unfamiliar with the mechanics. This is a common misconception. Uh, and you know, it's easy to, it's easy to fall into that trap because you think to yourself that, well, hornet, well, uh, hunters can't shoot up for some reason. Hunters can't shoot aircraft, and so therefore, aircraft must be perfect for hunters. But, uh, there is a small problem with that approach, is that hornets really don't do too much damage to infantry. They can kill hunters, but it really doesn't kill the hunters as fast as using flamethrowers. And I don't know why he didn't try flamethrowers, because he already had a barracks somewhere around here before he destroyed it. And so he could have just made flamethrowers. It didn't look like he made a single flamethrower. It looked like they were all marines. He might have made a couple flamethrowers. Why didn't he make more flamethrowers? I mean, the only thing I had was infantry. If he wasn't so preoccupied with making warthogs and made uh, at least a few... A few uh, a few of those uh, flamethrowers upgraded the flamethrowers. He had he had the tech level for it. He could have upgraded the flamethrowers. Why didn't he? Why didn't he do that? Put marines around here, but also put flamethrowers to protect uh, to protect the reactors once he captured them. Instead of capturing it and just putting one marine in there, that's not enough to prevent me from taking this thing over. You want to garrison this thing with flamethrowers. That way, if the chieftain's army comes rolling in, uh, the flamethrowers can hold off until reinforcements can arrive. <clears throat> but, you know, one, one marine and nothing else? <clears throat> I guess he didn't want to take up too much of his army space for... <laughs> warthogs. <laughs> <laughs> or I can't make too many flamethrowers, because then I won't have enough warthogs. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Oh my god, man. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Has he watched my videos? I mean, he's played against me enough times. He should know I have a YouTube channel by now. I mean, I've played against this guy maybe 50 or so times. No, not even. I'm not even exaggerating either. I'm not even exaggerating. I get matched up with this kid all the time. <laughs> Jughead UK resigned, man. He only uses Warthogs and nothing else. Yo, know, in the beginning, he didn't even make Hornets. He only just made warthogs, and if the warthogs, and, and, and then I would start to make hunters, and then I would kill his warthogs, and then he would just resign. Because you can't beat hunters with warthogs. 
You can't beat, uh, especially if the hunters are upgraded. So I, after I upgraded my hunters, my hunters were pretty much good to go. They're pretty much immune to warthogs at that point. And then he tried to go back and forth between these two bases with his warthogs and and uh, with his warthogs and his air units. And I was winning very slowly. I was making slow progress, but I was staying on top of the game. Because all I needed to do was keep him distracted. Keep him going back and forth between these two buildings. And gradually, I build up enough supplies to have two bases. And then three bases. And then start making locusts. And then, you know, upgrade my hunters. Upgrade my chieftain. Upgrade my... Slow by... Little by little. And it was actually pretty easy for me to do that. Because he wasn't... He wasn't actually making any anything other than warthogs or hornets. So as long as once in a while I kept making hunters and hunters and vampires, I could just actually I could actually stay on top. I could stay on top of the game. I could stay a a, a, a couple of steps ahead of him. And as long as I maintain that position, I'll be able to build up my supplies, build up my tech level, my upgrades. Slowly, but eventually I was able to get enough, ahead enough, in order to uh, finally do an assault on his second base right here. Now, I will admit, in this game, he did perform a little bit better than all the previous times, but that's because he didn't rush me immediately. He would Then he would have lost a lot quicker, but he it looks like he's learning a little bit. He's he's he looks like he's learned his lesson a little bit. He didn't he didn't rush. He was gonna rush. It looked like, or maybe he wasn't actually planning on rushing me with warthogs. But since he doesn't know any other strategy other than to make warthogs at the beginning of the game and upgrade them immediately, that's why it turned out the way it did. He made all those warthogs and they were at gunner. But he didn't. He wasn't planning on rushing me. He just doesn't know any other strategy. <laughs> that could be the case as well. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, that could be the case as well. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. Oh, look, this guy has a veterancy star. This vampire. Anybody else have veterancy? A couple of them might, might have a veterancy. Because he's killed so many hornets that he now has veterancy. Let's see if his units have any veterancy stars. Nope, no veterancy. <laughs> it looks like he was going to try to make He might have he might have been trying to make wolverines to combat my vampires. But by the time he started to do that, it was already way too late. He should have done stuff like that a lot earlier. Instead of trying to focus on only warthogs and nothing else. I actually have a video called Only Warthogs and Nothing Else. <laughs> Jughead UK resign. I've played against him maybe, possibly even 50 times. And I think I've only lost one game against him. <laughs> And all the other times he's resigned. <clears throat> Jughead UK resigned. <clears throat> I wonder what he's going to do when Halo Wars 2 comes out. <laughs> Warthog Rush, more than likely. <laughs> if they have Warthogs. I bet Jughead, I bet. Yo, I bet if... Uh, if if they announced that Halo Wars 2 is not going to have warthogs would Halo would would Jughead UK have some sort of uh, episode like some sort of like some one, one of those like jittery things you know that people get when they're like really super anxious or nervous or something like that like what would what would happen to him if warthogs no longer existed 
what would be his strategy? <laughs> what would he do? How would he play the game without any units? Because <laughs> you know he's not going to make anything else other than warthogs. <clears throat> so I wonder what, how, he, how, how would he conduct himself if it didn't exist? That's one of those life questions. One of those, one of those, those big questions that, that philosophers try to answer. <laughs> what would happen to him if there were no more warthogs? Why did he destroy his barracks? Is he, uh, he's Captain Cutter. Well, I guess he has elephants, but he never made any elephants. So there's no way he'd be able to make infantry. Why not, why just, why not just make flamethrowers? Why not? What's going on here, man? What's happening? What's really going on? <laughs> What's really going on here, man? Why are you afraid to make flamethrowers? <clears throat> Up until the Hornets start coming along, my, my, my army was composed entirely of infantry. I mean, that's easy pickings for flamethrowers. Why not make flamethrowers to try to combat my units? But then again, if the only thing you do is warthogs, there's no room for flamethrowers. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna end the video right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video on a positive note right here. Yep. That's his new nickname from now on. I'm calling him uh, Jughead UK Resigned. Until he gets off of his, uh, until, until he's able to kick his warthog addiction. I'm just gonna call him Jughead UK Resigned. That'll be his new name. I still don't understand, man. I'm still stumped by this. Why? Why? Why he didn't make any flamethrowers? I still can't even. I'm, sh I'm shaking my head. Yo. <clears throat> I would need a... This would be one of those situations where it would be nice to have more than two hands. So I can do a <clears throat> multi-handed face palm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. There's one of the pro tips right there. The best thing against hunters is not aircraft, but it is... Uh, infantry. <laughs> because if you make aircraft, <clears throat> of course I'm going to make vampires. And the vampires will be able to protect... Protect this deal mill. Protect it with your lives. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a, that's a line from Fat Fat Arkham City and Harley Quinn. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll be able to make... Vampires, and of course, vampires will be able to protect the hunters. But if you just make <clears throat> yeah, only only warthogs and nothing else, I mean, by the time he's by the time he had the idea to make uh, uh, hornets, I was already ahead. I just needed to maintain my lead, make sure to scout, and <clears throat> he put up more of a fight in this game than he did in the previous ones. But it was still not enough. Why didn't they make a base over here? <clears throat> that's my that's my question. Did he seriously not upgrade this supply pad? Seriously? Is it for real not upgraded? How is that possible? <laughs> How is that possible? <clears throat> It's been unupgraded the entire time. Wow. Wow. The entire time. I'm just going to go before my brain explodes. I'm going to play some Archage. <laughs> I'm just going to play some Archage. <laughs> I'm just going to play some Archage.
But yeah, Jughead UK, if you ever get matched with him, he will Warthog Rush you. Either he'll rush with the Warthogs, or he'll just make Warthogs and just spin around in circles forever. But he will upgrade them to Gunner. He'll make a whole bunch of Warthogs and upgrade them to Gunner, but <clears throat> he'll probably rush you with them, just so you know, in advance. So that way, the next time you play against him, you already know what he's going to do before the game even starts. You'll already know his strategy <laughs> before the game even starts. I'm going to go now. I'm going to play some Archage. And then, uh, I might even get a head start on my next, uh, Batman or Dark Souls video. I'm thinking about, I, I, I normally do videos every Monday and every Friday. But I'm thinking about, uh, doing maybe a video on Wednesday. If, uh, because I want to get this Batman series moving. I know it's going to take a long time to get through this Batman Let's play. So I want to upload more often than once a week for that. So I might do some on Wednesday. But I will definitely, 100% guaranteed promise, have uh, at least one video on Monday and one video on Friday. I might, I might release two videos on Friday instead of doing one on Wednesday and then another on Friday. I might just do two on Friday. It might be that way as well. <clears throat> and uh, so I might have to do that. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think of something. I might have to think of what I'm going to do. But I'm definitely going to play some Arch Age right now. I, I officially like it better than World of Warcraft. Although I still might do some World of Warcraft videos in the future. I've already done a few War World of Warcraft videos, but... <clears throat> I might do another Arch Age video or something. And I might do another World of Warcraft video if it comes to it. But thank you very much for watching, everyone. Make sure you click that icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Click the links at the bottom in the video description. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you